what to uh, wear. It's the usual, the usual thing, huh? Can you believe I need new clothes? I mean, I'm not going to mention, I mean, I, I need lots of stuff, uh, new shorts and underwear and probably some shirts and some pants, but I don't care about it. I don't, uh, I'm getting older and you, you care less about those things, but I have, uh, more choices of fragrance than, uh, than you can think of. And I don't even have that much, right? Um, and when you think about it, it it's funny, but uh, your friends, your regular normie friends will probably, you know, they think you're mad. Um, I don't know what to wear. I'm going with, uh, tea today. Uh, I don't know, I, I like tea and, uh, honey is my thing. My fascination with England, I guess. Um. I don't know why I'm looking at samples. I, I, I think I'm going to wear a sample today. I think I'm going to wear uh, this dandy here, this Lupin dandy. Do I have it? Oh, look at that color. Kind of purplish. I think I'm going to wear uh, this, but I'm not sure. Right? Um my bag full of triple A samples. Um, I'm not going to wear any of these today. Focus. I finally got in uh, my samples. I wore this the other day, cherry oud, uh, leather, leather and cherry cough drops. And uh, sorry about the noise, like a, a brown leather, like a, uh, you know, not so expensive uh, handbag, maybe, uh, maybe saddle leather and um, kind of stuffy, kind of stuffy. This is beautiful. I mean, my main objective is this, and I got a bunch of these. But I'm gonna keep on trying. I don't get no, I don't get no coffee or or leather or uh, vanilla. I mean, I, I get some vanilla. Um, and when you first spray this, right, your brain goes to what you're familiar with, right? So you never go. Uh, exactly with your first spray, but you think your own, your own, not your own intense, but your own. It's beautiful, but none of these are uh, a showstopper like my my other uh, arts and material Guerlain that I I absolutely swear by. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Cruel Gardenia. That's a little spicy floral. More of this. I didn't wear Cruel Gardenia, I just sprayed it. I've just worn uh, Cherry Oud. And, uh, you know, I wanna be a big fan of, big fan of Delphine. Delphine Jilk. She's so pretty. And uh, I guess maybe Wasser took her under his wing. I take her under my wing, but so, uh, some of these are her own doing, like Cherry Oud and uh, I'm not feeling it at all, at all. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty easy. I'm not, I'm not, I don't hold people's feet to the fire so, uh, so quickly or so, you know. But here we go. This is a uh, open dandy. I think I'll go with this. I already, do I have stuff on already? But, and I'm gonna, I'll spray the rest of it when I stop this video. Powdery, Laprisians, spicy. It's just, okay, so it's in line with the, uh, it's in line with the, um, 
the shamad that I love, but it, it's got more of a spicy, less sweet, maybe even dry powdery kick. Yeah, there's spices in here that make it distinct. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast that all over my body. Once again, you know, the daily duties of uh, our poor selves that are in the community. Um, triple X, I'm out of uh, Bel Am now. I'm out of, I think I've went to two samples of that because someone gave, gave me one. So I'm going to have to get a bottle soon. And, uh, oh, I wish I had a bottle of this. Jean Pateau. Man wear this one? You bet your ass. Um, more Shemad in there. I still keep it around. So, like I said, I, I need other stuff, but uh, I, I don't get it I don't, until I, I, I totally need it, but I have uh, way too much in terms of fragrance. Um, to wear, um, yet I need, I need new shorts, and, uh, I live in a place where you need shorts, you need nice ones, you need casual ones, you need rowdy ones, um, so let me know if, uh, sometimes it's a, it's a grind for you in the morning or on the weekends or the night before, um, when you're choosing your wear, and uh, for us, it's not the tie or the or the suit. It's, uh, it's the liquid gold that we do. Little dab will do ya. I dabbed that on like a uh, an X straight the other day, last week, and it was I dabbed it on too much, and it was more it. I couldn't sweat it off. I could not sweat this off after my five mile walk. It, it even raged up. Uh, it became hot and activated. I wear other stuff. I, like I'll wear my Queer Beluga, which is right there. I, I think that's Queer Beluga. And it'll sweat off when I'm, I'm walking or uh, exercising or something. This thing became enraged. And all I did was use one finger and tapped it behind my nose my ears, on my neck, a bunch of times in my chest. You know, I, 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 dab, I dabbed it pretty much, probably about eight or nine taps. And then maybe three, four hours later, I went for my walk. And I've been, I think this is my second or third mini Privé Uris Pien I'm on right now. So I know it from the beginning. I know it from 2016 when I I saw the whole lineup, and uh, I love it. This is my favorite oud, if I have to choose one. I'm not an oud guy, but this is my favorite oud, Rose. It's Isfahan. Oh, this is fiery. And maybe especially on a, on a, like a nice occasion out. Um, a gal wearing this in her, uh, in her dress is fiery. Let's see, I, lo I like this that Anuj got me. If I wear this, though, I'll uh, show my age, though, which is fine. Creamy, lemony, barbershop, Givenchy. Good enough for Audrey Hepburn. It's good enough for me. So let me know what you go through in your routine and uh, write it in the comments. So I'm going to go with uh, Hoop and Dandy. Oh man, and what a good choice. I'm gonna go with that little, this one right here. Tell me what the samples you are uh, going through these days in your, in your daily, in your daily dose. Plum. Uh, patchouli, moss, not sweet, but fruity sweet. Plum, and uh, so much in here. Like today's perfume, not even a third of what, what goes into here. Raucous. It's a raucous. 